it's Friday, February 12th. I'm Natalyn. And I'm Ben, and, and you're watching THS TV. You know what I'm excited about? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what you're excited about? Well, there's two things. First, there's no school on Monday, and we're off for President's Day. And so that means we have a three-day weekend in front of us. Yes. Thank you, Presidents, for being our Presidents. According to the weatherman, also, it's going to be a fabulous weekend. It'll be a little cooler than a chance of rain on Sunday and Monday, but when you don't come to school, any kind of weather is perfect. Secondly, the Lady Ranger varsity basketball team is now on the road to the state playoffs after their win over Lamar. Good luck, ladies. They'll be representing District 24 to 5A as the third place team. Congratulations. The by district game against Galveston Ball baseball is against Galveston Ball is this Tuesday at Stafford High School at six. Playoff shirts are available for fifteen dollars. See Coach Fields for a shirt and congratulations, ladies. Now let's celebrate some birthdays. Happy birthday to Austin Johnson, Carlos Nieto. Eduardo Laredo, Luis De Luna. Olivia Gonzalez, Sergio Lopez, and ha Stephen Ringel. And happy Saturday birthdays to Farron Lopez, Gwendolyn Garcia, Elizabeth Nune Dominguez, and Mariah Liao, Paulina Velasquez, and Vincent Scavone. Now for some happy Valentine's birthday on Sunday to Cassandra Cordova, Dakota Cruz, Isabel Cox. Calista Cal Villarreal and Miranda Aguilar. Today at 3 is the deadline to turn in your cat scavenger hunt form. Make sure you get that up to Ms. Gann in room 431 before 3 so you can have a chance to win a gift card. And that's free money, right? Yeah, that's free money. That's why it's a gift card, Natalie. So, what day are we celebrating today? Well, today is our very own A.B. Lincoln's birthday. We celebrate the 16th president of the United States today. Thank you, Abe. And here's a couple of facts you might not know about Lincoln. Oh, really? He lost his first bid for presidential ticket in 1856. Oh, really? Really, really. Well, he also used the telegraph, like, I guess, old-timey email, to communicate with his generals during the Civil War. He issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863 that freed all the slaves. This was the first giant step toward fulfilling Americans' long neglected promise of liberty for all. Liberty! So, now that we've got the president, the birthdays, let's talk about some sports. Okay, this is a busy time for, of the year for all our athletes. Tonight, the boys' varsity baseball team makes on, takes on Hastings, Hastings Bush at 6 over at Bush. The softball team plays in a scrimmage tomorrow over in Sealy. So the varsity goes ahead and plays at 1, and the junior varsity plays at 11. So if you want to see them, go over there. The Lady yeah. Rangers soccer team is also playing Angleton tonight here at Terry. The JV plays at 5, and the varsity plays at 7, so be there. Definitely. And the boys are playing Angleton down in Angleton for a district game. The JV plays at 5, and the varsity at 7. Our wrestlers are up in, the, are up in Bryan for the regional matches. If you're looking for something to do, there are a couple of movies opening up this weekend, actually. Zoolander 2 is opening. Derek and Hans Hansel are back again. If you love these two airheads the first time, you'll love them again. The movie starts Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson and is rated PG-13. Deadpool is also opening as well if it, it is rated R. So most of us can't see it, but seniors can. And that's a shame for all of you people who can't because we all love our superhero movies. And if you want to see live theater over the river and through the woods, it's playing at Cass the Theater, theater Cool in downtown Rosenberg. The curtain goes up at 8 Friday and Saturday nights. Look online for reservations and tickets. And now for the joke of the day. Uh, yeah. Yay. Do we really have to do it? Yes, we really do it. Mm. You know, I thought new show, maybe 
not so much. Uh, but oh, okay. Well, there is. So here it is. What do y'all call a running chicken? Uh, a running chicken? No. Poultry in action. <laughs> you get it? That was such a horrible joke. Anyway. Moving on to the next thing, it is actually the probably most important Sunday this Sunday of this new year. Can you guess what it is, Natalie? Valentine's Day. It's a day of love. It's a day of hugs and kisses. It's a day of <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yeah! <laughs> okay, now we know some people think it's a holiday only for selling candy and flowers. But if you look past that, the commercial aspects you'll see Valentine's Day is more than that. It's a day of love. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to tell the person you love how much they mean to you. It's also a time to remember those. We have lots of Valentines in our lives, from our parents to our boyfriends and girlfriends to our just friends, everybody. So no matter what, how you celebrate, Happy Valentine's Day to you and your special someone. Because it's, it's a day of love. Okay, let's end today's show on a positive note with a quote from H. Jackson Brown. Love is when the other person's happiness is more important than your own happiness. Love. <laughs> and with that, guys, we're out of here. Remember, range of pride every, every day, every way. A day of love.